So the Matthew Walker knot, it's a little, it's quite difficult of the knot, but if you can tie, you know, just a normal overhand knot, this knot, you can do it. Um, before you try tying your lanyard, um, tying this knot on your lanyard, tie it just with some loose cord um, and practice that, get it down before you try doing it the same, uh, before you try doing it for real on your lanyard. So I'm going to tie a constrictor knot. Um, generally, I just do this with a dental floss if I'm using 550 cord. Um, here I'm using 550 cord with a climbing rope. So, but um, this just helps keep everything in line to, and together. Um, as you can see here, all the colors are alternating, so you don't have blue touching blue. Um, so you're going to need quite a, a bit of slack, um, or else it's going to get a little difficult to work with. Um, so like I said, you can see if I lay them out, blue, green, blue, green. Um, so first thing you're going to do, take one strand, you're going to go around everything. I kind of like putting my finger here and just for um, just keeping track of that loop and I'm going to go up through this loop just that way. So I'm going to take the next one and go kind of make a loop around my finger go around and up and through. So as you can see this blue one is not going through this green one um, they all go through their respective loops. And that's where the finger kind of comes in handy um, is keeping track of which loop you're going through. So I kind of just go around my finger, around everything. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, it goes underneath all of them. So they're kind of stacking downwards and up and through this way. So as you can see, they're all come, going through their own loops. So I'm, to my last one, I do the exact same thing. Around my finger, around the back, stacking downwards. And then I just follow my finger through, through that hole, and up through. So as you can see here, you can see they're all coming out of their own loops. And this is the really, really tricky part. Um, if you don't do this right, your knot won't, will not turn out well. So you're going to take this first one, and you want to dress it nice and slowly. You're not pulling out all the slack. You're just making it a little tighter. And then you move on to the next one. So you make that one a little tighter. You move to the next one, you make it a little tighter, all while you're laying the knot on top of itself. So I'm laying the one I'm tightening on top of this, uh, you can see this green part, and it just takes a little bit of work. And now, now you can see these two part, blue parts are touching, and that's where this, this one is going to lay down. You can see it's kind of coming apart. Actually, there we go. Sorry about that. The, uh, <laughs> this loose part actually came out of its loop so I just had to retie it. And you just want to tighten this one a little bit while you're laying it through. Um, so just keep on working the knot and gradually and see if right here it's a little loose you want this to lay in between both of the blue strands. Um, so as you're working out the slack you're going to start to see it take a little shape but it's a nice round shape and just every, working a little bit more slack out every time and eventually you'll have a nice Matthew Walker knot. Um, there you go. So as you can see nice and round shape. It's, it's easy to do once you understand how to do it. Um, so you can see this green one is cut going over this blue one and this, this green one gets covered by the next one. So. That's the one thing to keep to, that's a little difficult to keep track of, but uh, the next, this one is going to get covered by the next one over and so forth. Um, like I said, you can do this with more than, it's, uh, the more strands you have, the better it looks. Um, let me find my Persian. Uh, this Persian, I just used some uh, cotton twine, this, this uh, like rope stuff. I undid the rope and I did a Matthew Walker knot. It's quite small in here but you can see it's nice and neat spirally and then I have the loose ends right here. So this is a little example of what you can do with this knot. It's, it's, I've got to say by far one of my favorite knots to do. Um, but yeah, so 
practice this until you can get it nice and neat. It looks nice and uniform. Um, and then I suggest, then I suggest actually tying it on your lanyard. So, uh, so as uh, well, just like the Matthew Walker knot, I suggest getting a hang of this one before going on to try and tie it on your lanyard. Um, this is the wall and crown knot. This is what it looks like. Uh, kind of just to end this little four strand braid. It's a good way to do it, to end a, a braid, I'd say. So, like the other one, um, I'm just going to use a little bit of dental floss on my 550 cord um, just to keep it together. This is a, just a uh, constrictor knot, just to hold things together. So, I want to make sure that all the colors are alternating. Uh, you know, blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. Um, and you just set, kind of set up the knot where the the loose ends are coming out of your hand and going away from the center. So, first thing you do is you take one of the ropes and you put it over the next one and just down. You do the same thing to the one over. So it goes over its next one. This one is going to go over the next one. So, you, eventually you'll come around to the point where you started. So, this green rope is going to go through the next loop. This loop that, uh, where you, the first one you started. So, once you get that done, it should look like that. Nice and neat. Maybe a little lopsided, but you see it makes a pretty nice looking knot. Okay, so from here gets a little more difficult to explain, so I'll do my best. Um, but I hope you don't conf I don't confuse you guys. So, you're going to take one this rope and you're going to go underneath the next one over. So, on this first one, I'm just going to leave a little bit of slack um, just like this, a little loop so to show you guys and just kind of set it over. So, this next one, go underneath, set it over. I'm pulling out a little bit of slack. Uh, I'm not pulling it tight, but I, you know, I'm laying it flat against the other ones. So, I'm going to take this one and go under the next one. And then this rope, you'll come all the way around and you see this first loop I made. It's going to go up through this loop, uh, the first loop. And then, of course, you work out the slack from this one. So, you should have it's starting to take form. And so you'll have the ropes kind of coming out through the side here. Um, so, this one that comes up through the loop, you can see this green one, how it comes from, uh, the, from uh, further down the line. It comes up and it curves around and it goes underneath this way. So, this blue rope is going to follow it exactly. So, you lay it on, but right on top. So, I'm laying it so it's not crossing under like that, but just right on top. So it goes underneath this other green one, and it's going to lay on top of this one. So I'm going to follow this one right down through this hole. So I'm taking this blue end, laying it down through this hole. You can see it's crossed there, so I'm going to put it back on top. And there it is. Pretty simple. So I move to the next one. I lay it on top of the one that's coming down, just this way, so it's not crossing anything. And I'm going to follow this blue one straight out. So it goes underneath this green one. So it goes through and out. Same thing with the next one over. Huh? Have a little bit of slack. Sorry about that. Where am I? Okay, so uh, just a little note. You can see right here I got a little confused. but um, So when it comes out from, it goes underneath this one. It comes out and it goes this way. So this one is going to be under. You're not going to, you want to make sure you're not tying over this way. So underneath the loose end, it follows this green one that's coming up and it goes underneath this one, you can see this way, so it goes underneath this blue loop, so around, through the hole and tighten it up so it lays on top of itself this way. You just want to keep on going all the way around until you, your knot looks, until you've done all the strands of course. Um, so, if you've done this right, your knot should look like this. You have the nice and neat all the way around. You might have a little slack that you might need to work out. So, But you don't want to tighten this all the way yet. Um, that's kind of crucial. If you tighten this right now, it's going to be very, very difficult to do. So, you, let me just squeeze this together a little bit so you guys can see a little better. So, you can see this nice square shape and all the ropes are nice and neat. So. If you can see here, this green one keeps on going, 
and we're going to stop following this. So there's a hole right here on the side, there's a hole in the top. So this one comes out here and it's going to go through the next hole on the side and out the top this way, right there. So you go to the next one, through this hole on the side and right out the top. Kind of fish it out of the top, of course. You just go around until you got all of them through the hole and out the top. This one, through the hole and out the top. And there you go. There's your knot. It, sh if it should look very nice and neat, just like this. Very easy to do. Um, once you get at the hang of it, I, it's, a it's very difficult to describe how to tie this clearly. Um, but yeah. This one, same as the Matthew Walker knot, you want to tighten it very gradually. I like to follow, uh, instead of just kind of doing one kind of section at a time, I just take, so you see this blue one, so I'm just going to follow it. I'm not tightening it 100% all the way. I'm just pulling out the extra slack. So I'm just working it through until I get out to the section. So I started this blue one, I move over to the green. So I work out a little bit more slack this way. And I go all the way around until it comes out the end. Move over to the next blue one. And so you just keep on doing this, taking out a little bit more slack each time until the knot is tight against itself. Um, like I said, practice this a couple times, just on normal rope. Um, it's not that hard. And eventually you'll get it nice and tightened down, just like this. So, pretty, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. Um, so just like the Matthew Walker knot, um, let me undo this really fast. Let me just, I'm going to cut here and tie it in. So back to making the lanyard. Um, so just imagine this is a braid coming from the neck loop. Uh, and th these are the free ends. So like I do in other ones, tie constrictor, constrictor knot. And um, you want to lay it out just like this. And you see right now it's not alternating. Two greens on one side, two blue. So just really easy. I kind of cross one over and I just work it a little bit so it's a little more natural for the rope to do that. Just work it out. And you can see now green, blue, green, blue. Um, so you're going to take your clip, uh, whatever clip you want, um, I'm just using carabiner for this purposes, and you're going to work uh, work the ends through gradually. So you're taking this first end, you're working it through this way. Now I'm going to take the next one, the blue one, I'm going to work it through the other way. Uh, and the blue one from the other opposite side. So we'll take this blue one from uh, from the opposite side, from the right side rather, work it through. Green one from the left, work it through. So not only are the colors alternating, but so are the ropes coming in the directions you can see there. So from here, once you've packed, you kind of, I flip it up over to the upside down. And at this point, you'll want to work out as much slack as you can from uh, the braid. And you'll want to cut the, um, the dental floss. Of course, I don't want to lose this nice section of orange paracord. So I'll just work it unloose. I'll loosen it, take it off. And so at this point, you want to cut, you'll have, it's just like um, tying the same knot, but you're working around, um, around the braid that's coming back up. So, uh, you know, if I want to do the wall and crown knot, I, it's the same thing. I'm working around, around the braid, and it's just, just the same knot. So that's why I said practice on just without, just on a straight line without doubling back and trying to go up. Um, you know, if I were to do the Matthew Walker knot, it's a little bit more complex. Uh, you, you instead of you just work around everything and go up this end here, and I the. The tip I learned, a tip I learned for this, is kind of work around your finger, or you know, have something around. So, of course, I just make a loop this way, go around, and up through this way, and then you just keep on going that way until you've got your knot. Work it loose or work it tight, just like the Matthew Walker knot normally, and it should work well. Um, 